Motorcycle Adventure Dirt Bike TV is proudly supported by Adventure Spec in England, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, and Adventure Moto in Australia. Motorcycle Adventure Dirt Bike TV are proud to announce the All Things Africa Twin promotion. Quote the product code displayed during this video and at time of purchase of a Technic suspension upgrade for your Honda Africa Twin or motorcycle accessories from Adventure Moto for your Africa Twin and you'll receive a 10% discount on the total purchase price. This promotion is limited to purchases in Australia for the Africa Twin and the offer ends Thursday the 31st of August 2017. We call Perry and Andrew the Africa Twins. About nine months ago they abandoned their BMW 1200GSs for all things Honda. And they're not the only ones. The Africa Twin is selling like hotcakes and dominating big adventure bike sales. It was great to catch up with them and talk about their change in direction and their experiences with their new bikes. The ride, well, that was supposed to be a walk in the park, a chance for them to test their new Technic suspension upgrades. But things got a little difficult. But hey, after all, it is an adventure. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Back on the 690 today. Philippe and I are out with Perry and Andrew. And they're on their Africa Twins. Perry, good to see you up here, mate. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, it's great to be here. And uh, sporting a lovely Africa Twin. How long have you had this one for? Uh, I've had this uh, since November last year, so I guess that's about nine months or so. Yeah, and what, um, what made you pick the Africa Twin? Well, I had the GS1200 before, uh, oh. great bike. Um, wanted a bit of a change, I guess. Uh, wanted something a little bit lighter. A lot of, lot of uh, good press about the Africa Twin, so, and also given the price, I thought that's got to be a good thing. So um, sold the, the GS privately and bought this. Yeah. So you've had the Africa Twin for nine months. How have you found it? Found it really good. It's an excellent bike. The motor is is so sweet. It's uh, terrific. Um, really nice sort of. It sounds like a, a, a V twin, but it's not. It's a parallel twin with a 270 degree crank. Um, it it's a really lovely motor. Plenty of power. Go pulls off the bottom end really nicely. Um, and it's very linear and uh, you've got plenty of power. It's not a huge powerhouse like maybe the 1190 is in the KTM range, but it's certainly got plenty and it's great off-road. Um, I found the suspension was a little bit lacking, to be honest. Uh, I found it was, there's, there's two problems with the suspension. One is there's a lack of um, rebound damping, particularly at the rear. Uh, it's a bit like a pogo stick sometimes when you're coming out of potholes things like that um, and the other problem was the preload uh, it, you couldn't get preload on it it seemed like there was so much static sag that about a third or more probably half the suspension travel was taken up um, so you just needed a heavy heavier spring um, I've, I've had some work done on it out at Technic and I'm really keen to check that out today so, so this is our adventure bike test track so the Engo trails a cracker for this so um, yeah yeah yeah, that's what we had planned today. We thought we'd just uh, gently do the Yengo, if that's possible, and see see how the suspension stacks up and how the bike goes generally. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing um, the, the differences in the suspension with Technic. I mean, I've ridden a couple of WRs, uh, 450s and the 250s, and uh, really makes a difference getting the suspension done. So uh, you're the first mm. people I've seen who've got Africa Twins done by Technics. Yeah, well, Nick tells me he's done quite a few of them, so um, he, he's got the thing on the dyno and got it all mapped out and um, hopefully it will come together. It certainly feels better on the road so far, so we'll see how we go today. Okay, mate. Okay. Uh, crash bars pairing? Yeah, that's, I guess that's standard. You've got to put those on any adventure bike. Um, lots of different types on the market now. Very happy with these ones so far. Haven't had to use them, luckily. Um, got a big bash plate on it as well. Again, you know, necessary item. 
and uh, with this bike I've decided to go with a second set of wheels so I've bought some XL wheels and um, Han hubs got them made up and um, that way I can easily change from the knobbies back to the road tyres. Anything else in particular you've done to uh, it? Taller screen, uh, put some bark busters on it. The and old bark busters. The old bark busters. Got to yeah, do that. The standard ones haven't got any um, any metal inside them. Yep. So I've gone a bit more heavy duty there. Um, got some pivot pegs on it. And that's about it, really. Well, mate, look forward to today. It's great to ride with you again. We haven't ridden together for a long time. Yeah, it'd be great. I'm looking forward to it, Dave. Yeah. So, Andy, you got your tyre pressures right? Just about. Just about done. And in what way do you get an Africa Twin? Well, because Perry got one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Different colour, though. Well, I had to get the red because that's a colour of fast, as you know. <laughs> yes. So, uh, no, I, um, I've had a few, but it's my eternal search for a bike that makes up for my lack of ability, so maybe this one might <laughs> prove, to be, <laughs> prove to be the one that works, Dave. Yeah. yeah. And how have you found it, the first first rides you've been on with it? Oh, look, I had, a, I had a 1200GS before and a few other bikes. I've got to say, it's probably as comfortable. Um, we went down this track for the for the front wheel, really, just for the off-road, as opposed to the GS. I guess that was a big sort of part of it. And, what, the um, 21 inch? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. maybe, you know, physically and mentally, to me, it makes a bit of a difference for the off-road stuff. But comfort-wise, I couldn't fault it. Like Perry, I ran the um, suspension also. Part of it's because I'm a, probably a little bit heavier than most, but the back was a little bit soft, and I've always played with suspension on the bikes, too, because I believe it just makes a little bit of a difference, too. So. Um, but apart from that, the standard mods, crash bars, I sort of lower the pegs and bring up the risers too because at my age you've got to be kind to your body. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's, it's pretty stock, but you can always find something on YouTube to purchase, can't you, when you, you do the stuff enough time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, foot pegs lowered, I just noticed there. Yeah, a mob called Night Design, they do some stuff out of the uh, US and they, um, they're pretty good, pretty easy to put on. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's a decent set of uh, bar risers I can see in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just uh, yeah. 25 mil, so. It's a fine looking bike, right. Andy. Let's hope it looks fine at the end of the day, David. <laughs> <laughs> Philippe, we're on the 690s. We haven't lost yeah, our girls yeah. yet. Yeah, so we look, look at that trusty little horse there, ready to go. You know, <laughs> we've been enjoying so many good rides with this bike that uh, I, can't, I can't even think about changing. Yeah. You know, that's. That's that's what we want. We've got them sorted now, haven't we? They're not as. Yeah, uh, it took a few kilometres to sort them out. Something <laughs> like twenty thousand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm really having a go with you because in fact, uh, uh, outside of the fuel injection, outside of the rocker arm, um, that's a great bike. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I can't see anything that I want to change her. I'm still still in love with the girl. Yeah, she does a cracking job. We've got great fuel range, haven't we? Yeah. 620 kilometers. Yeah. There's not many bikes, you know. I love the single cylinder too. I can't, I can't yeah, get off no. the thumper. Yeah. Are you listening, manufacturers out there? We just want a simple single cylinder <laughs> thumper as an adventure bike. So mate, we've been doing about 30 k's on the Yengo Trail and it's chopped up, so it's a good test for the suspension. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. It's chopped up from the grader or, or something there. Like they've half done the road and walked away. Um, but it's the bike's a lot better. It feels a lot more compliant, um, progressive over the whoops and things like that. It actually feels like it's got a lot more potential, the bike, and it's fulfilling the potential. And the bike's, you know, it's a lot better than I'm going to be rider, so... Now I've really got a bike that's uh, just the perfect adventure bike for me. So how is it with all, all those erosion mounds? Yeah, good, good. Yeah. It's uh, so much better.
before I had the suspension done, I felt that um, you were going to get bounced out of the whoops and bounced out of those potholes. Yeah. Because there was no damping or very little damping yeah. on the rebound side. Yeah. And now it's just progressive. It's not bouncing you out. You can hit yeah. obstacles a lot harder. Mm. Uh, you can travel a lot quicker. Um, you know, the bike is quicker than me now. I feel like you know, this bike is really quite a fast bike. And uh, I don't think I'll ever be a the rider that will be able to cope with this sort of bike it's just fantastic yeah, it's very a pretty quick. big improvement isn't that it's then? a big improvement big yeah. improvement yeah yep very happy yeah. what do you reckon oh look, I'm, well you know for my level riding I'm, I'm pretty stoked with it i um as i was saying before i i like it because i i sit into the bike more and i sort of found with the slightly smaller stuff that I sort of perched over on top and, and whilst it's bigger and heavier, personally I feel like I'm sort of a little bit more engaged. But as Perry said, I agree, the bike could probably do a whole lot more than, than certainly I can. So, um, you know, for my style of riding, it's, it's ticking all the boxes down for sure. How good is this? Look at this. I mean, blue sky, there's not a cloud. We're just in the middle of the forest, enjoying our time. And here comes some Africa twins. Oh yeah, let's get out of their way. Quick. <laughs> As we all know, track choice on the spur of the moment can end in tears. Four-wheel drives had chopped up this track badly, and from previous experience, it usually meant for bottomless mud holes. Which way did he go? Which way, boy? And the drums come in. Oh, that's all right, I'll do that too. To cap it off, Perry had road-oriented tyres. Yeah, Absolutely the wrong tyres for this type of stuff. The track was getting worse and memorable moments were heading our way. What have we done, boy? That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Thanks, Dave, as always, <laughs> a bit of adventure. <laughs> After all this adventure. Surely we've scared the piss out of Philippe. He's urinating profusely over there. Oh fuck, he's gone, he's oh fuck! Well that's adventure riding. I, I've been busting my guts trying to give you a, a non-issue free day. Somehow I think I got con Dave. Con. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> No, I would rather go blind Won't somebody take away his eyes Said I would rather